Welcome to the Northeast Kingdom Tourism Ambassador Program. This video has been designed to familiarize you with some of our regional arts and culture with a specific focus on museums and libraries. When travelers visit Vermont's Northeast Kingdom, they'll sense our story on every road, path, and rolling hillside. They sense the history of many generations of Vermonters who've made the kingdom their home and found a way to carve out a living in this rural area. And they meet and become inspired by many people who keep these traditions alive today. Throughout the region in every season, visitors will find festivals, museums, galleries, and local bookshops that capture our story in a variety of ways through arts, poetry, crafts, unique educational programs, and storytelling. Located in Brownington is the Old Stonehouse Museum. Originally the dormitory for the first secondary school in Orleans County, this monumental granite structure was completed in 1836 by our nation's first African-American college graduate, Alexander Twilight. Today it houses artifacts of the region's past. Located in the Brownington Historic District, the museum is generally open from May 15th through October 15th. Wednesday through Sunday from 11 to 5. The Lawrence Barn houses a collection of antique farm equipment and the Observatory on Prospect Hill offers a 360 degree view of the surrounding countryside. Located in Derby Line is the Haskell Free Library and Opera House. The Haskell Free Library works to provide materials and services to meet the educational, informational, cultural and recreational needs of the community. They provide materials and services in both English and French. The library and opera house are uniquely located on the U.S.-Canadian border, such that you can literally stand in two countries at once. Tours of the opera house are available from May 1st through October 31st during regular library hours. A schedule of performances is always provided on their website. Completed in 1920, the Burke Mountain Clubhouse in the center of East Burke Village is a building that serves as a community center and houses the East Burke Community Library. The structure is a beautiful example of the period architecture and is handsomely furnished with historical items. The White Schoolhouse Museum, which was a one-room schoolhouse from 1817 until 1894, sits on the clubhouse grounds. The Bread and Puppet Theater and Museum is located in Glover. Founded in 1963 by Peter Schumann on New York City's Lower East Side, Bread and Puppet moved to a former farm in Glover in 1964. A 150-year-old barn was transformed into a museum for an extensive and eclectic collection of veteran puppets and masks. Museum hours are generally from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily, June through October. The Copley Public Library is located in Lindenville. In 1905, Eber W. Copley donated $15,000 to erect a public library building in Lindenville. The site of the Silsbury Livery Stable at Main and Depot Street was authorized for purchase at the annual town meeting in March, and the library building was completed in late 1906. Plans for the building were drawn by William Sayward, a member of the well-known firm that designed the Boston Public Library. The library was dedicated and opened to the public in January 1907. The Goodrich Memorial Library is located in Newport, Vermont. The first library established in the city of Newport was originated by Dr. John M. Currier in the spring of 1862. In 2003, the Goodrich Memorial Library received a substantial grant and the building has since been restored to its original beauty and elegance. The Fairbanks Museum and Planetarium is located in St. Johnsbury. The Fairbanks Museum and Planetarium is Northern New England's premier museum of natural history. The museum was founded in 1889 by St. Johnsbury industrialist Franklin Fairbanks. A lifelong amateur naturalist, Fairbanks collected examples of nature's artistry and diversity throughout the world. His vast personal collections were first made accessible to the public in his Cabinet of Curiosities at Undercliff, his elegant St. Johnsbury mansion. 
Fairbanks commissioned architect Lambert Packard to design a monumental structure in which to make his remarkable collections available for display and study. To this day, the collections remain the backbone of Northern New England's largest museum of natural history. The St. John's Barianthanaeum is a national historic landmark that has served as a center of culture and learning for the regional community for over 130 years. This free public library and art gallery is home to a permanent collection of 19th century paintings, including Albert Bearstadt's Majestic Domes of the Yosemite. The Athenaeum also hosts poetry readings, contemporary art exhibits in the upstairs gallery, and concerts. It is important to note that there are many additional libraries and a few additional museums throughout the region. In fact, most of the larger and even some of the smaller communities feature a public library. Those included in this training are just a sampling of offerings across the region.